All right, Champion Horse Racing fans, we are back. I'm going to showcase my mare, Betlel, here, and she is ready to officially be retired for breeding. Let's go ahead and show you her stats. She finished with, I'm going to say, an Equibase figure of 93. She was five stars, so five out of six stars rated in this game is not bad. Here are her stats maxed. Uh, she's pretty much a B-plus average horse uh, throughout these stats and categories, which isn't bad. You see her breeding meter is at 100%. And now I can retire her for breeding for her to become a broodmare. And actually, let's show you guys her record. I only raced her seven times, and she only won a single race, and that was a grade two. But she did finish second once. Uh, she placed, or excuse me, she showed two times, and she finished fourth. So up and down, up and down. But again, she's an average horse with her stats. So I think using the right stud with her could uh, give us some decent horses. We'll go ahead and retire her for breeding, and there she goes. She is gone, and there are other horses I want to retire for breeding, but I don't think I can retire any of these horses. Um, it doesn't appear that I can, and I think that's because they still have to meet certain uh, categories and classifications. But um, expect to see a lot of different horses next time we come back to the base. Fortunately, I'm not gonna be able to uh, retire this guy because he doesn't have any grade one victories. So I'll have to keep racing him in grade ones if I want to retire him. And he has to win at least one. I forgot the studs in this game can only uh, be utilized and used for studs if uh, you win a grade one with them. So my only stud, King De Oro, who's at the farm now, this guy, um, he won two grade ones. And that's why I was able to retire him for breeding. But my other studs, as great as they've been, none of them have won grade ones. So that's why I'll try to... All right, horse racing gaming fans, we are back with a short clip here of Champion Horse Racing because this is a PvP Grade 1 Aerofield Stud Stakes featuring a field of 16 horses. And apparently Michelangelo uh, likes race horses. He is here down there at draw 7 with the number 17, or excuse me, the number 16. So we're sitting here and trying to get a grade one win so we can retire our stud, as you see on screen right now, Crown Pilot. There's our guy with the green uh, reins, white bandages across all the legs at the bottom. Uh, Crown Pilot has been really good for me, so I hope he can get us a win. Now let's go ahead and compare him to the rest of the field. So he's a B-plus turf rated horse. As you can see, it's a mixed field of A-plus, A-minus, um, and some C-plus horses and a double S horse down there. Um, Crown Pilot comes in rated 110. You see most of the field in the rating category is 105, 108, 125, 107, so on and so forth. So we're pretty competitive with most of the field. Um, other categories are kind of whatever. As you see our recent form, he hasn't finished worse than third in his last six races. So we're on a hot streak here compared to uh, some of these other um, players we'll be going up against. Obviously, I am not grinding grade one, so that's why I never really have any on this page. But nonetheless, there he is, Crown Pilot. Let's go ahead and watch him. I'll skip to the last 400 meters and see if our guy can go ahead and give us a race win. If he wins a race, that means I can retire him for breeding. So let's go ahead and fast forward. Now, where is Crown Pilot? Not even in screenshot as of yet. That's a beautiful horse up front. Look at the 14 with the orange silks. That, I've never seen a horse like that in this game. Actually, both of those horses. You can breed those type of horses. That's awesome. Those coats. Look at Crown Pilot. That's us in the middle. The three. Crown Pilot. And he gets it done. That is a PvP live grade one win there with my horse Crown Pilot. The green range. You see the green cap. My pink silks. Torso with the white bandages. Crown Pilot gets it done. I just beat nine other players to win my third grade one in PvP. Which goes to show you all these other players that are in these groups and members and whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't care about any of that. I just want to win races with my horses. With our horses, most importantly. Because you guys are going to have the chance to name a lot of horses I'll be doing with breeding in the next couple of videos of this game. So Crown Pilot gets the job done. And you see he was he was capped at the 110-110 rating. And because of this win now, he finally bumps up to a 117 and we win 680 gold because of it. That's a huge, huge, huge win for Crown Pilot. Huge win running as a closer. You see his stats, 90 speed out of 100, 82 stamina out of 100 max. Just goes to show you, you can win if you have the right horse. You have already won three grade ones. Now you can hire your own jockey. No way. I was wondering when I was going to unlock this, but I had to win three grade ones and I only uh, won two, obviously. Now, what you guys just witnessed was me winning my third Oh man, this is this is awesome. Um, what to name my jockey? I mean, I really 
I have no idea. Um, I'll just go with my first name. And um, they do first name and last initial here. I'm not going to really use my last initial, but I'll go ahead and use uh, initial that is related to one of my names. So there it is. When I say one of my names, I mean like I have a middle name. <laughs> Eric W. Yep, that's going to have to stick. <laughs> I've ne this is new, guys. This is all brand new. I've never um, achieved this or got to this point in the game. But look at that shot of us on our horse. I'm telling you guys, if you're not playing champion horse racing, this game is like for free in the App Store. Like, I know it's different from playing a traditional like game where you control the horses, but the management aspects and some of the details in this game, I've talked about it for years. I, I, I don't know mobile-wise, mobile horse racing game-wise, What's better? Um, there are other games that are just like this one. They just have different titles. I don't know why they're named differently, but they act the same. A couple of you play them. These games are awesome. Your jockey will get your jockey. Excuse me. Will get XP after racing. You can level up your jockey when the XP reach the level up requirements. You'll get skill points. Yada yada yada. Wow. Train up your own specialties. Jockeys with good performance will be listed on jockey rating. Great chance to win various rewards. You have ten new skill points to train up your jockey. Wow. This is awesome. So Eric W is officially my my first jockey. And I, they said I have 10 points. And I don't see where that is on screen. What would I want to work on the most? Affect stamina, affect speed. Speed is important. Course knowledge. I mean, all these are important. But what I've noticed is having stamina to last in the race is probably the most important thing for me. So let's go ahead and upgrade that. So I did that one time. So how do I see how many points I have? Because they're not telling me. No, they told. Oh, they're over there on the left. It's very small. Okay. So you can level these up to 50. How much does it cost? Okay, not enough XP to level up. 80 XP. Okay, I get it. So you know what? I'm going to do two in each of the important uh, categories. So I'll do two for stamina, uh, which is the wrist strength. We'll do two for balance, which will affect our horse's speed. Um, turf and wet, uh, gates and willpower. I'll do two in that category as well. Um, we'll do cl clockwise and counterclockwise to make sure we benefit all of our horses. And then the last two, let's go ahead and do horse knowledge for their temper. Wow. I, I cannot believe I am finally at this point. So now we have our first jockey, Eric W. I love that. I love that image on the left. That that's, that's awesome. I love seeing that. It's little things like that that I enjoy in games like these. It doesn't take much, but if they have the right things, then that's enough for me. And we're getting plenty of uh, little uh, rewards and achievements. And we get a free five-star horse because I just won my third grade one uh, race in this game. Free Fly Hawk. Let's go ahead and check him out right quick. Um, so let's get uh, one second. Just grabbing my money and my jockey XP. Okay. Free Fly Hawk. Where are you? Okay. Five-star horse here. Now, this is all I can see. Um, buy High Chaparral out of Poland Stone. All right. So all these horses will be making their way into my game and into the episodes very soon. Uh, but you see a lot of five and six star horses we can work with for the future. So I'm expecting to get very good horses in our next generations. This is awesome. So happy to have finally got here. Like I said, I have my own jockey now. And um, to think I've been collecting jockey experience points this whole time, but I never had a jockey. So couldn't do anything with it. But uh, man, making some serious progress in this game. I really want to be as good as I can on the PvP multiplayer stage. So that's a good win. That's a good start. Hopefully you guys